crypto for beginners how to make a hundred dollars in a day now a lot of you people are just starting to get into cryptocurrencies and you're wondering is cryptocurrency trading even lucrative is it even possible to make a hundred dollars trading cryptocurrency in a day how much money do you need in your trading account in order for you to make a hundred dollars per day this is what we're going to be talking about ladies and gentlemen i go by the name of muna and welcome to my youtube channel feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel because we are going to be talking about a whole lot of money making ventures that are really going to make you wealthy in 2024 so obviously coming back to today's video right how are you going to be able to maneuver and be able to find those particular trades that are going to make you a hundred dollars in a day and how much capital do you need so when you talk about cryptocurrencies right there's obviously a lot of um you know coins that are on the market as you can see right over here there's quite a lot so sometimes it is very easy for you to get lost in the source which is very very confusing so in today's episode i'm going to be giving you a strategy in order for you to streamline the best momentum trades that are going to obviously play in your favor as far as making cryptocurrency profits is concerned so the first thing that you need to do is you need to figure out the right right type of resources because uh knowing the, the the right type of resources is going to help you search and be able to identify the 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 projects that you're supposed to be trading and just basically you're going to be able to easily decipher what you need to be looking at just just like i told you right there's a lot of overwhelming information. Everybody's talking about coins. There's a lot of, you know, coins that are really out there to make you confused. So the type of resources that you're supposed to use in order for you to streamline and be able to know the projects and the coins that you're going to focus on on a specific period of time okay and the other thing that you're supposed to remember when it comes to trading cryptocurrency is you're supposed to identify the type of time frame you're supposed to be analyzing time frame is going to be very important because understanding the time frame that you're supposed to be focusing on is going to allow you to sort of uh, arrange your trades according to um, you know how fast the trades are going to turn out to be profitable because by the end of it or you do not want to end up trading a coin which is going to end up pumping and exploding in the next one month you know because you have to have a certain uh priority with regards to how you rank your trades so having an understanding of the time frame that you're supposed to be looking out for and the time frame that you're supposed to be using when it comes to trading is very important because knowing the time frame uh is going to help you prioritize your trades priority is very important because when you have a priority you have a clear defined uh um, you know period that you're going to use in order for you to actualize a particular trade in order for you to look out for certain metrics and certain factors okay then the other uh, thing that you're supposed to look out for is uh, what is going to be your trading strategy you know your trading strategy uh, and uh, what things are you going to be looking out for, especially with regards to your trading strategy? Do you have any sort of uh, indicators? Do you have uh, uh, a few factors that are supposed to align? You know, are you looking out for certain uh, metrics to sort of align in order for you to qualify your trades? So this is a very important word that I'm using, qualifying your trades, because not all trades are equal. I might give you a few projects that are, you know, <laughs> uh, seemingly going to do very well. They've got a very bullish long-term perspective. They've got a very strong team, but not all trades are going to be equal. So as you're going to discover, right, even if we take a look at the markets right now, if we go to the one-hour time frame, right, we've got some coins that did very well. You know, Blur did 24% today. 
you know, in the last, sorry, in the last seven days, it did uh, 24%. Today it has done about 9%, while clay has done about 3.2%. Mina Protocol has done about 7.9%. So as you can see, these coins have got different priority and you can rank them differently because as we saw, right, obviously Mina uh, or, or rather Blur had more momentum, okay, Blair had more momentum in comparison to Clay and in comparison to Mina because it did a 9%. So what factors, what trading indicators, what trading uh, criteria were you supposed to use in order for you to pick Blair over Mina Protocol or Clay Protocol or even Render? So these are the things that we're going to be talking about. So remember, you need to have the right resources. You need to figure out the time frame that you're going to be using and a time frame as far as picking out the priority trades that you're going to take and then you're also supposed to have a trading strategy what trading strategy are you going to be having what momentum indicators are you going to be having so uh, to all the absolute beginner traders right i'm obviously using a lot of uh, terms and uh, terminologies and I really apologize, you know, I'm assuming you do have like some basic understanding of how to use TradingView because TradingView is one of the resources that you're going to be using. You know, if you don't have TradingView, I'm obviously going to have uh, a link in the description. So this is basically uh, a platform that really allows me to sort of uh, use technical analysis because it has got these tools and these amazing things that really help me sort of, um, uh, you know, get to... Uh, plan my trades and get me to uh, rinse and uh, decide for what trades are going to be able to do very well. It's a very good uh, trading platform. So just like I talked about, right, as far as resources is concerned, right, TradingView is one of the resources that you're going to be using in order for you to uh, discover the coins that are really going to end up making you $100 per day. Okay, so uh, the other thing that I forgot to mention is... Uh, how much money do you need in order for you to make a hundred dollars in a day? So there's a lot of different ways of making a hundred dollars in a day. And uh, let me just decipher this by uh, let's even use uh, different colors this time around. So in order for you to make a hundred dollars, right, you just need to make 10 percent of one thousand dollars. OK, 10 percent of one thousand dollars is going to give you a. Um, hundred dollars per day so if your trading account is a thousand dollars right you just need ten percent in a day and this is very possible because take a look at what has been happening there's quite a number of coins that have done ten percent in the last 24 hours so if we click on 24 hours right uh, Celestia TIA has done about 13 percent so if you had uh, invested one thousand dollars in the past 24 hours in Celestia if you were trading Celestia right you would have made uh, 130 dollars okay so it is absolutely possible look at fortune rune uh you know if you had invested a thousand dollars in rune in the past 24 hours you'd have made 150 dollars in the past 24 hours there's quite a lot of opportunities and yes indeed it is absolutely possible for you to make a hundred dollars trading cryptocurrencies even as a beginner so this is one of the reasons why you're supposed to listen to this strategy that i'm going to be giving you because i have been trading cryptocurrencies since 2016 and trust me i have done a whole lot and by the way um you know subscribe to my patreon uh account because i'm going to be giving you a lot of trading opportunities and you guys don't really have to go through this you can just follow my blueprint and you guys are going to be able to make a whole lot of money all right so yeah the other method that you can use in order for you to make a uh, hundred dollars per day is obviously getting to utilize leverage trading but leverage trading is something that you know i wouldn't encourage cryptocurrency beginners so this is something that i would uh you know pretty much discourage you from doing because it's going to really um you know help you lose money very fast because when it comes to risk uh, and reward risk analysis a lot of people usually tend 
and uh, to overlook that aspect because it's a very important aspect of trading. So when it comes to leverage trading, right? Leverage trading is basically getting to uh, borrow money from a cryptocurrency exchange and using uh, way much more money than your account has. So in case you are leverage trading, right? In order for you to make hundred dollars in a day, right? If you're using a 10x leverage, your account needs to be about a hundred dollar account. If you use a hundred dollar account and then you use uh, a 10x leverage, okay, that means every um ten percent that you that, that 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 the price moves, right? You're obviously going to be able to make a uh, hundred percent of your money now i know this obviously went through a lot of uh, people's heads right but trust me if you're a beginner don't even listen to this part of uh, our conversation okay so in order for you to make hundred dollars on a hundred dollar account right you need to use 10x leverage and you only need to make a 10 percent uh the, sorry the price needs to move about 10 percent uh in order for you to make hundred percent of your money okay if you're using 10x leverage uh, you need a hundred dollar account in order for you to make hundred percent of your money, which is a hundred dollars, and the price of the coin that you're trading only needs to move about ten percent. So this particular method, trust me, you do not want to use it, but it is a way in order for you to make a hundred dollars. Okay. So the other method is obviously getting to break down this hundred dollars. Uh, you know, you can uh, you can uh, use half of it, right? In let's say for example, you've got um, five hundred dollars. That means you need to make twenty percent on it. Okay, so twenty percent in uh, in a period of twenty four hours, uh, it, uh, it is possible to do. All right, it is possible to do, but it is also highly unlikely when it comes to probabilities and just the way uh you know the 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 cryptocurrency market is is set up right in order for you to make it to to find a 20 percent move on a daily basis i mean you're really going to have a tough time of course in a weekly time frame, you are likely to be able to make about, uh, you know, three trades that are going to yield you 20%. In a week, you can do it for about three times, you know, and I'm telling you this because I'm a pro trader and I've been doing this for a very long period of time. So you are better off uh, making 10% per day using a $1,000, which is going to yield you, uh, you know, $100. So if you have a $500 account, I would really advise you to bump it up all the way to a thousand dollars so i recommend having at least a thousand dollars in your account and uh, only making 10 percent of it and you're going to be able to make one thousand dollars so if you're able to make one thousand dollars in a day right that means in a month you are able to make around uh, you know three thousand one hundred dollars which is a very good amount you know a lot of people uh in the rest uh generally in the world uh you know can do very well with making three uh three thousand one hundred uh passively so that is something that could be very helpful to you so if you are able to execute the things that i'm going to be teaching you in today's episode you are going to be able to make around three thousand one hundred dollars passively just using some simple crypto for beginner trading methods that are just going to be so mind-boggling and you're going to realize that this is absolutely easy to do so anyhow let's move over to the next slide and uh, yeah let's talk about this and let's decipher how you can quickly do it in a short period of time so number one Let's talk about the resources. What type of resources do you need? So as far as resources are concerned, right? Uh, let me just change the colors. As far as resources are concerned, number one, you need um, a few websites that are going to be very, very, very helpful to you. And this, these are going to give you a lot of uh, uh, material that you can use 
and it's going to help you a whole lot. So as far as resources are concerned, number one, you can look at a lot of different uh, cryptocurrency aggregators. These are websites that are going to sort of have a hierarchy of the best, uh, sorry, of the the best performing uh, platforms, the best performing um, crypto projects, the best performing uh, cryptocurrency. Basically, they rank cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency uh, market capitalization is going to be highlighted. You're going to be seeing a lot of different uh, metrics as far as the volume is concerned, the market cap is concerned, because these are the different things that are needed. So let's take a look at CoinGecko. Okay, if you take a look at CoinGecko.com, it is one of the many different uh, cryptocurrency uh, aggregators that you're going to be able to utilize and find. Okay, so the other one that I know is uh, Coin Paprika. CoinPaprika.com. Uh, this is also a very good uh, website, which really does very well uh, with regards to ranking coins. And the other one is uh, Coin Market Cup. Okay, so these are the different variants uh, as far as uh, cryptocurrency aggregate uh, aggregators are concerned and you are definitely going to be able to uh, use a lot of material from there as far as uh, picking out the cryptocurrencies that you want to use so uh, which one do i recommend well personally i'm fond of using coin gecko because you know coin gecko has got uh, a lot of uh, established and a wide variety of cryptocurrency projects so you can use these uh, three uh, different uh, uh, websites with regards to ranking and getting to identify what cryptocurrencies are moving very fast and uh, the market capitalization the circulating supply and so on and so forth okay so as far as resources is concerned these are the best uh, you know cryptocurrency uh, ranking websites that I would recommend and the other resource that you need is obviously um, um, trading view just like I told you right trading view is uh, the best um, platform where you can be able to do your technical analysis. So as far as resources are concerned, I think these are going to be very sufficient for your $100 a day making journey. So why do I recommend, you know, consistently looking at these cryptocurrency aggregators? Because it's going to help you quickly make decisions. Let's say, for example, I want to pick out the best, you know, performing cryptocurrencies in the past, uh, you know, seven days. I can just click a button and then i'm able going I'm, I'm going to be able to see that terra luna has been doing very well so why is this important why is getting to uh have access to such a database going to be very uh, important for you because it's going to help you understand which coins have got the best momentum so momentum is something that is going to really help you do very well because when it comes to trading right right now we are in a bull market okay so when you've got a bull bias okay so we have bull and bear markets right so bull and bear markets when you have a bull market you know, it, it simply means that um, trading cryptocurrencies to the upside is something which is going to help you make money. So you're going to have a longing bias, you know, so you're going to be longing slash shorting the markets. OK, so basically longing the markets is just simply buying, holding and then selling it at a uh, very, uh, you know, higher price in order for you to sort of lock in your profits. When it comes to shorting, shorting the market is just basically selling in order for you to sort of, uh, you know, cash out at a much lower price. So uh, these are going to help you understand where the momentum is. OK, the momentum of the trade, because you do not want to end up you know, shorting the market when we are in a boom market or you don't want to be longing the market when we are in a bear market. So understanding the momentum, the momentum is going to help you, you know, get to actualize your 10% in a day because if you have uh, coins that have got a very high likelihood of, you know, uh, doing very well, right? The, the momentum is working for you. Let's say, for example, let me give you this analogy, okay? Let's say you 
are going down a stream, it's easy for you to follow the current. You know, the current of the water is going to help you use less energy and it's going to help you reach your destination faster. So this is one of the reasons why I really consider myself to be a momentum trader because the momentum is going to help you sort of easily trade coins and it's going to help you get to your destination faster. So understanding where the momentum is is going to be like 50% of the work that you're going to be doing. So once you get to highlight and understand what type of momentum is you know going on then you're going to be able to organize your trades better in a very sort of uh, advantageous way so that you can be able to win so understanding the momentum the momentum is going to be very good so i'm not really going to be able to like dive really deep into understanding how to understand momentum yeah but basically you can do your own uh you know research at least i'm pointing you in the right direction okay so these are uh, aggregators are going to help you identify uh you know where the momentum is going to be able to go so the other resource that i forgot to mention is obviously getting to look at the different cryptocurrency exchanges okay crypto exchanges have got data that is going to be very easy for you to analyze like for example uh a lot of people use uh binance Okay, Binance.com. Binance.com is also an aggregator that has got a lot of data as far as this cryptocurrency is concerned. So when you're using Binance.com, right, you are easily able to replicate what these coin aggregators are doing, but it's just going to be sort of specialized. So this is one of the reasons, let's say, for example, when we go to Binance.com and then we hit markets, these are the markets performance with regards to all these different cryptocurrencies so as you can see there's uh you know this new listing there's blair which is doing very well there's this top gainer right over here so it obviously helps rank uh what has been happening on this particular cryptocurrency exchange and you can see the real-time volume because the volume is going to be way much more accurate in comparison to the aggregator because the aggregator could have like aggregated uh volume so if you take a look at terra luna right this particular 24-hour volume is aggregated collectively from all the different exchanges plugged in uh, and, uh, you know, facilitating this Terra Luna uh, classic uh, coin to be traded. So this is the aggregated volume. So this is not the overall picture. But if you go to Binance.com, right, or any uh, specific, let's say, for example, we click on uh, Terra Luna, uh, you know, it's, it's going to tell us, where the volume is coming from so if you take a look at this right binance.com is having a volume of 122 okay this is the specific volume for this specific crypto um you know exchange if you take a look at uh, this other uh exchange right over here toggle crypto it is a cryptocurrency exchange the volume is only 581 so if you take a look at this right this information is already helping you decipher and understand where you're supposed to be positioning yourself because you do not want to be on total crypto where there's very few uh you know of uh, trading volume because if you look at 122 million in comparison to 581,000 US dollars obviously there's a huge discrepancy and you would obviously gravitate towards uh Binance which has got a lot of uh you know trading uh volume so if you take a look at OKX there's about 17.6 million which is you know fairly decent ETC so these aggregators are going to give you aggregated collected uh sort of data but if you go to a specific exchange you're going to have like the real-time usable uh data for that specific exchange which is going to help you streamline uh you know where you're going to place these trades because understanding where to do your trades is also a very Im important key factor of what's going to help you determine uh you know the, the your profitability because sometimes if you go to unknown exchanges you're not going to be able to cash out there isn't going to be any liquidity liquidity is Okay, now I'm talking about some other stuff, all right? But I understand you guys have been doing your research, right? So liquidity is going to help you move in and out easily. There's a lot of different market makers. There's a lot of, uh, you know, trading depth. Oh, man. Yeah, so please subscribe to my patreon group okay and uh, feel free to send me some 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 uh emails in case you need any help feel free to reach out to to me i can you know provide these one-on-one -on -one consultations and i can make you a pro trader in a matter of two weeks 
even less than that in two weeks if you have a trading consultation with me you're going to be an expert trader and you're going to retire feel free rich trust me okay so anyway moving on and going back to what i was saying right so obviously boom you already understand uh the momentum of the trade the other thing that you need to understand is once you get to decipher the momentum and where the trade is going to go to right you obviously now need uh to figure out what time frame you're going to be using as far as trading your crypto is concerned so understanding time frame time frame is something that we are going to uh you know sort of uh, talk about and it's obviously going to get you a little bit confused because when it comes to time frame time frame and timing oof, on this one i i need to sit down with you but i'm going to be as basic as i can and i'm going to you know illustrate what i really mean so when it comes to time frame right this is uh, you know bake.usd uh if you take a look at tradingview.com these are the different time frames that are available we've got the 15 seconds the one minute the five minute the 10 minute the 15 minutes etc so the time frame is a period of time where trade uh data has been consolidated and it has been you know um sort of uh, recorded in order for you to use it for your analysis so understanding what time frame to use is is going to be a very important aspect of your profitability because different time frames have got different meanings so let's let's go to the highest time frame okay so as far as trading is concerned the fa- the highest time frame that you can use to analyze coins is the 12 months which is a one year period right so if you take a look at this particular uh okay let's go to bitcoin because bitcoin has got the longest uh trading crypto uh trading data as far as uh you know uh coins are concerned so if you take a look at the 12 months this is a one-year period right so if you look at the 12 month trading data of uh bitcoin this is what we're seeing you know well this is the data that we're seeing okay now let's flip it over and go to the six months trading data. Look at how different the chart is going to look. And this is the information that you're being given. It's, it's, it's very different from the one year data that we just saw. Look at the difference between this and that. Very different. Okay, now let's break it down even further. Let's go to the three months time frame. Now, looking at the three months time frame, now the, the chart looks way much more clear it looks way different you have more data to use in order for you to plan your trades even better now let's even go down in a smaller time frame look at the one month time frame look at all that data that you're having so using these different time frames you're able to analyze and have a different perspective of what is happening to a particular project now let's move over to a smaller time frame look at the one week time frame and look at what amount of data we are able to decipher from this from this we we've got a lot of data so this the sweet spot of trading now listen to me carefully okay the sweet spot of trading as far as i have been back testing for me is especially if you really want to make your 10 percent in a day so remember you're trying to go in and out of coins in a day and by the way You've, you, when it comes to trading cryptocurrencies, you have to implement different trading strategies, okay? You have to have a daily uh, uh, trading strategy. You've got, you have to have a longer period of time uh, trading strategy. You have to have a long-term perspective as well where you just buy and you just forget, okay? So you're going to be using different trading strategies depending on the season of the crypto cycle because you know trading has got cycles cryptocurrencies have got cycles and you know sometimes in a bear market you know when prices really really get to depreciate and really get to drop as far as 90 percent obviously you can buy and hold for a longer period of time you can't really use the same strategy when you are just literally having like all-time highs you know you're having the peak of a season you can't be you know buying and holding because you're going to deplete all your money okay so these different trading strategies are going to be utilized according to the cycle of the cryptocurrency markets at that particular moment so you have to take that in consideration because this is one of the reasons why a lot of people don't end up you know making money and keeping the money most of the times you come to the markets when everything is bullish when the the news articles are saying you know you're going to be the next millionaire because bitcoin is going to be one million us dollars 
So you listen to the hype and you fall for it and then you just never get to sell. Okay, because you don't really understand the market cycles and what usually happens around these ends. So this is one of the reasons why I'm breaking this down. So have different trading strategies depending on the cycle that we are in, depending on the momentum. Remember, this is why we talked about the momentum. Okay, so coming back down to the uh, sweet spot time frame of trading that I've discovered, especially if you are a sort of, uh, you know, short to midterm trader, I think these are the best. The three-day time frame, okay, the 24-hour uh, time frame, and the 24-minute time frame. So these particular time frames are really going to give you the best optimum trades. With these time frames, they're going to have the best, uh, you know, uh, trading outcomes that you can ever have. And this is really going to help you make a lot of money very fast. So please take a note of this three day time frame, 24 hour time frame, uh, and 24 minute time frame, because this is going to help you come up with a strategy. Okay. So one thing that I would love you to go and research is the trading screen strategy. Okay. The trading screen strategy is uh, something that is going to help you understand what these different uh, time frames are going, what, what role these different trading strategies are going to play with regards to picking your entries. Okay. So the other thing that we need to talk about is uh, entries and exits. Mm -hmm. Because entries and exits are going to really, really uh, determine your profitability. Okay, entries and exits. So how do you get to utilize a time frame in order for you to time your entries and in order for you to time your exits? Now, this is going to be a little bit confusing for you, but I'm going to do my very best to make you understand. But best believe the time frame that you're going to be trading in is going to help you understand your entries and and your exit. So let me just minimize this in order for you to understand. So remember, I'm using the three day time frame, the 24 hour time frame, and the 24 minute time frame. So just to give you a context, this is how different these time frames are. So let me click on the three day time frame. This is what we're seeing on the three day time frame, right? This is the data. So on the three day time frame, right, the momentum has been towards the upside. Okay, the upside is the definite momentum. Okay, now let's look at the one day time frame. The one day time frame looks like this. If you look at this data, right, we are obviously beginning to range. It obviously gives you a little bit of a different perspective right there. OK, now let's look at the, uh, you know, 24 minute time frame. The 24 minute time frame has been very informative. And from this, you were able to sort of, um, you know, have access to data that you were not able to see in the three day time frame and the 24 hour time frame. So if you were using the 24 minute in comparison to the three day time frame, right, you would have obviously avoided this dump because you would have seen that, okay, here the momentum is reducing, the momentum is, uh, you know, running out of steam. Let me get out, you know, and you get to avoid that. Here you are able to sort of jump back in when you see that the momentum is beginning to build up okay so using the time frame strategy i'm able to be able uh to uh sort of uh, prioritize my entries and my exits and also be able to use the momentum to uh, for you know use being able to use the momentum um you you guys understand what I'm talking about. The momentum is going to be easily identified using the time frame uh, hierarchy that I'm talking about. Okay, so basically to to break it down for you, three day, twenty four hour, and twenty four minute time frames. Your three day time frame is going to be your your most potent time frame that you are going to be in tandem with okay the three-day time frame is going to be your guide whatever the three-day time frame is telling you right that's the momentum you're going to be using and you're going to set your your trading strategy towards this 
particular time frame, you're going to be aligning your trades on your biggest and your most relevant uh, time frame. So the three-day time frame is going to be your momentum sort of guide. Then the 24-hour is going to be your sort of counter uh, trade or rather counter time frame that is going to help you get to understand what's happening. And then the 24 minutes is going to be your entry and your exit time frame. Okay, so let me repeat that. The largest time frame or the biggest time frame that you have is going to allow you to use or identify the momentum which is supposed to uh, sort of dedicate to your trades, okay? The 24-hour time frame is going to be your counter momentum which is going to allow you to sort of find the perfect entry and exit. So let's say, for example, the three-day time frame is... Um, so of uh, you know going up right uh le let me do this okay because this is going to help you clearly understand what i just talked about because it's going to be a little bit confusing okay so imagine the momentum is going towards the upside okay you've got an up momentum so you're going to be, you know, making long trades. You're going to be making long trades and you're going to be uh, buying in order for you to sell higher. You're going to buy low and sell higher, okay? This is your three-day time frame, okay? The bigger uh, time frame is going to allow you to prioritize your trades, whether longing or shorting, okay? So the 24-hour is going to be your counter trend, or your counter momentum trend identifier. So in order for you to time your entries and your exits, your entries are just basically when you're going to be buying, your exits are going to be when you're going to be selling. So when the 24, you know, hour, or let me just call it a one day time frame, okay? One day time frame, okay? This is going to be your counter momentum. This is when you're going to be able to now be eager to look for entries and exits because you know that, okay, now, uh, you know, I can be able to enter and look out for the pump continuation to happen, okay? So this particular entry right over here, you're going to be able to time it, the bottom of this particular entry, by using the 24-minute Okay, the 24 minute time frame. So this particular strategy that I just explained and deciphered for you is called the triple screen, um, the triple screen trading strategy. So I'm looking for so for for some text. Um, yeah, this is where I get the text. Okay, so this particular strategy is called the triple screen trading strategy. Okay, it's really going to help you find uh, entries and um, and exits. Okay, triple screen trading strategy. Yes. Okay, please. Once you're done watching this video, go and research uh, the triple screen trading strategy because everything that I highlighted is going to be very, very useful to you and you're going to be able to time the absolute bottom and the absolute top as far as momentum is concerned and as far as your entries and exits are concerned. So, boom, now you understand what the triple screen tra trading strategy is, uh, is all about and you're able to execute your trades. So now let's go back to our, um, you know, uh, hypothesis here as far as picking out the best uh, uh, coins to trade in order for you to get your 10%, which is going to give you your $100, uh, $100 per day. So getting back to our entries and exits, right? I have obviously given you the entry and the exit. The 24 minutes is going to provide you with the entry and is also going to provide you with the exit because at this particular moment, when you run out of momentum, the 24 minute is going to give you that momentum loss and you're going to be able to sell and exit. So you've got your entry and you've got your exit. This here, right over here could also have been, uh, you know, uh, an exit because it's a 24 minute and you're able to sort of uh, allow yourself to get rid of that particular trade and you're supposed to uh, get to lock in your profits. So when it comes to trading, in order for you to have money, you need to be profitable. You need to be able to lock in those particular, uh, you know, trades and, uh, you know, just basically get to keep your money and increase your bags. So there's a lot of different trading strategies 
that are going to help you identify the loss of momentum. Let me just give you some basics, okay? So using an indicator such as the RISI, the Relative Strength Index, is going to help you identify that, okay, uh, when I'm on the 24 minutes, right? Right now we're using the 24 minutes for exits and entries, right? When I'm on the 24 minute, this particular high, when the price or rather the RISI indicator is above 90, I'm, I'm supposed to be looking out for an exit, okay, if I entered in a trade. So when the RISI is at the bottom here, when it's below 20, I'm supposed to look for an entry. It's literally that simple, okay? So the RISI is a momentum, uh, you know, indicator because it shows the strength and the weakness of a particular market. So it just literally gives you the entries and the exits. So now if we look at the chart, okay, let's look at what has been happening on the Bitcoin graph and what we're supposed to, uh, what I was talking about as far as, um, you know, uh, trading is concerned and what has been happening. So let me just zoom it, zoom in, in order for you to identify what I meant with regards to your exit. Okay, so boom. Okay, this right over here and that right over here, these are your basic entries. So within these entries, there are obviously peaks and valleys, okay? But overall, the trend, since we already know that the three-day time frame is uh, absolutely bullish, we're expecting, you know, some the price to continue. So you enter there, boom, you exit, like that. That is your profit. This is your profit, Okay. And then you rebuy back. You rebuy, the price continues going up, and you make a whole lot of money. So take a look at this, okay? This was the time frame where, you know, we got that buying indicator. It's corresponding to that particular level. Do you see this particular level? Exactly. You buy, that was your entry, and then, boom, you exit. You exit right over there. Literally that easy. You know, trading is very easy provided you have the actual blueprint. Okay? So now, using this particular time frame that I told you about, right? The three day to 24 hour and the 24 minutes, you're able to time your entries. So now, how do you get to be able to identify a move before it happens? You have to be consistently looking at different metrics. So let's open and let's open another slide. So momentum indicators that you're supposed to look at okay momentum indicators to look out for mm -hmm. so let's change the background where is the background here um, okay we'll just keep it white like that i'm sure you guys don't wouldn't mind okay so momentum indicator uh, indicators that i usually use okay volume because they say volume precedes uh, price action. So when you're seeing an, ins uh, an, an increase in volume, especially for coins that didn't have much volume, right? Then it, it's signifying that there's a lot of interest. So volume means there's interest uh, with regards to that particular project that you're looking at. So this is one of the reasons why I was saying if you if you consistently look at the, the aggregate data that is being provided for by an exchange okay because you're able to rank the volume that is happening on a daily basis take a look at this this is ranked with regards to the highest volume okay the hierarchy so if we click on volume right it it sort of uh, gives us the lowest volume the lowest performing cryptocurrencies as far as volume is concerned to the highest uh, performing cryptocurrencies as far as volume is concerned so if you look at the hierarchy right you're able to uh you know have your own um, sort of uh, ranking system where you specifically wake up each and every morning and you look at the markets and you take a look at the coins that are beginning to take off as far as volume is concerned. So let's say, for example, we go to page number page number four, right, where the coins are less than 20 million US dollars, right? And for, by the way, the sweet spot that I found with regards to Binance is uh, when coins all of a sudden start having an increase in volume above 20 million US dollars, right? Let's say, for example, they were ranked, uh, you know, num uh, they, they were ranked below 8 million US dollars. And then all of a sudden, the volume spikes up and goes to about 25 million US dollars. So on a daily basis, if you're taking a look at a coin, right? Like, let's say, for example, CFX. CFX 
uh, is about 10.3 million US dollars. And then all of a sudden, the day after tomorrow, the rank or rather the volume profile just increases to about 30 million US dollars. Then I know that this coin is about to uh, have its momentum increase because there's a lot of interest. There's a lot of sudden buyers trading with a whole lot of volume suddenly. You know, so this is one of the reasons why Volume is one of the best, uh, you know, uh, momentum indicators that really show you that a coin is about to blow up and you're supposed to prioritize it. And the best thing about trading is you have to get in before the masses. You have to get in before everybody thinks it's cool and before everybody sees that, okay, this particular trade is going to, you know, absolutely blow up and volume is going to give you that particular heads up. It's going to give you a heads up and you're going to have an edge with regards to setting in your position buying in advance because before everybody gets to buy and just basically being able to milk the whole entire profits okay so volume is one of the best indicators the other indicator is the price action price action is going to be a very complicated topic for you guys so with regards to price action i use haiken ashi candles haiken uh ashi candles because haiken ashi candles really help me decipher the trade so what i'm talking about price action price action is basically the close and the open so if you take a look at my trading view right the way my candles are being uh represented or being presented is very different for a lot of different people because a lot of different people have got regular candles okay so i'm not really going to talk about candles because you can uh you know research these things and candles started uh in japan etc there's the open there's the close there's the <laughs> doji candles all that stuff okay so let me switch it to to regular candles so this is what you're most likely going to experience when you open your account okay so this for me is very blurry it's very uh it's just too much information okay so when it comes to trading i really love to simplify everything i don't like analysis paralysis i want to streamline the information as much as i can i want to use very little information and i want it to be very very accurate so to me if i use the regular candles it's 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 so it's it's it's, it's so overwhelming for me so this is one of the reasons why i love using haiken ashi candles because haiken ashi candles are really going to give me a, you know a basic breakdown of what is happening i don't really need to break my my brains with regards to deciphering what a candle means i know when they're green it's absolutely bullish when they are red it's starting to sort of uh, you know be dangerous for me and i need to be looking for shots so just using the the the, the trading candles right the high kinetic candles you're able to already understand the momentum of a particular project which is going to really be very very useful for you because you already you already have half of the information that you need so green candles is obviously you know a very bullish narrative and when it comes to dojis you can be able to identify that okay this particular doji candle shows indecision however the prevailing trend is in an option so even though you have a red candle right over here the momentum is still towards the upside and you can still basically get to find your entry right over here and you're going to end up having a winning trade trade right over here so when you are having a very pre uh, definite uptrend and all of a sudden you start seeing this particular loss in momentum you know that there's going to be a correction and you're going to be able to avoid that okay so price action is also going to help you sort of pick out the momentum the other uh momentum indicators that are going to help you are obviously oscillators oscillators are just basically indicators uh oscillator indicators okay such as the uh rsi the simple moving averages or the exponential moving averages and uh stuff like the macd okay the macd these are the different oscillator indicators so an example of the rsi is something that we already talked about right uh let's take a look at 
this okay so these are basically oscillators that i have for momentum okay the macd is right over here it's just it's just a basic um you know uh oscillator which shows the crosses the bearish cross the bullish cross at the bottom these are just momentum indicators so in order for you to really get to make money right you just have to be be able to understand price action and uh momentum so these are the things that you really need you need need momentum you need to identify momentum and you also need to identify the price action once you understand the momentum you're going to be able to easily position yourself in a winning trade easily and you're going to be able to identify the trades that are going to earn you uh you know like a hundred dollars in a day so yeah what else did we miss oscillators okay and uh hmm Anyway, I don't really want to give you a lot of information. I do not want to give you analysis paralysis. So right now you've already got 90% of the blueprint with regards to making your $100 in a day. Okay, granted, you got all this information. You got all this information and, uh, you know, you're ready to go. So now how do you get to use this information? So basically you go back to your aggregator, look out for the coins that have been doing very well and the coins that have been gaining momentum, okay? So if you take a look at this particular, uh, you know, ranking system, you look at the time frame, right? The seven day time frame yep you're able to see which coins just recently started picking momentum or they're gaining steam okay they're becoming explosive so when you take a look at those coins right you you just go in them solana why is solana doing very well this particular week what what's what's happening with solana you open the map or rather the whole entire graph and you get to understand you get to do your technical analysis just like i told you look at the three-day time frame you look at the one-day time frame you just basically get to decipher it so why is solana all of a sudden starting to do very well okay so you use the aggregator to pick out the coins that have got the best momentum that you can use to your advantage this is one of the reasons why i told you that the resources is going to be very important and in order for you to even be faster because if you look if you use a seven day time frame right you're obviously going to be most likely late for the party so you can look at the one hour time frame which coins in the past one hour have been doing very well you know and when you see what has been happening right then you go and investigate you investigate what is happening so when you use this strategy each and every day you're going to find countless indicators oh and by the way one thing that i forgot to mention is uh you're supposed to be very careful with the exchange where you put your money because you need to have an exchange which have got which has got a lot of trading opportunities you know you don't want to put your money on an exchange which has got very uh you know few opportunities so this is one of the reasons why you're supposed to be very careful with where you dedicate your money and where you decide to trade from so Pick an exchange which is going to have a lot of trading volume, a lot of good opportunities, a wide variety of coins to, to, uh, to take a pick from. And you're going to be able to make your $100 in a day. So just, you know, consistently look at the one hour time frame, which coins have been gaining a lot of momentum. Get to research the 24 hour and the seven day time frame. Once you get to do this, you're going to pick the coins that have got the best probability uh, to sort of uh, give you a 10% per day and you're going to make your $100 in a day using your one thousand dollar account so that ladies and gentlemen is going to be your winning strategy remember what i talked about in order for you to do very well you have to master this trading strategy you know there's a lot of stuff that i really overlooked and i didn't really want to to really go down because you're going to be confused however i am encouraging you uh to reach out to me send me an email and let's get to discuss uh, you've seen what you can do with uh with uh, with a thousand dollar account now imagine you had ten thousand dollars how much money can you make in a month from ten thousand dollars you can be able to make one thousand dollars per day one thousand dollars per day each and every month is around thirty one thousand us dollars so if you've got a ten thousand dollar account 
don't trust me. You can end up making $31,000 each and every month. $31,000 multiplied by, uh, you know, one year. That's going to be about three hundred and ten. That is over a quarter a million US dollars of opportunities. So, ladies and gentlemen, feel free. If you reached this far, it means you found value in what I was talking about. And you obviously loved the breakdown of how simple it is. So, please feel free to reach out to me i do have a patreon group uh you know let's get to decipher and look at the ways that we're going to help you make a whole lot of money so i hope you found this interesting obviously with the information that i just brought you right over here you are even ready to go just read and research everything that i've talked about play this video over and over you don't even need me i mean in, in all honesty you do not need me i've just broken down how you're supposed to do it this is six years of anger losses and a lot of frustration so trust me i'm really doing you uh, you know a very good favor so i hope you found this informative talk to you guys a little bit later it's been your boy muna 